first day of finals racing. Was it good to finally race against all the guys who've been matching at the top of the score sheet? Yeah, it's been so close all week. It's good to finally get some points separation. And uh, yeah, it was a nice day and good racing. And I was, I was glad I had a good day. And how were your results? I had a second and a second. And uh, yeah, basically it was, it was a real drag race to the right today. And I was lucky I first race bad start and had to tack right. And uh, the second race I, I got to the right hand side when I wanted to. and. I, I had I probably led both races, but uh, yeah, I'm not extending away when I'm out the front, so uh, I need to work on that a bit. But uh, still a good day. And if you look towards London, where you know it's going to be a smaller fleet and everybody racing each other from the first race, is it a lot about being consistent, like what you've been this week? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm I'm not really taking too many big risks. I'm just trying to chip away and get one place, one place, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you can go into the middle, uh, the last day of uh, the Olympics not having had a bad one, it's got to be good for you. So, yeah, I'm trying to do that, but it doesn't always happen that way. Now, a couple of days of big breeze here and here. A little bit lighter for you guys today? Yeah, it was um, quite a surprise, I guess, from the or contrast compared to the last few days. Uh, we had, a, I, I suppose, what they call a sea breeze building. Um, so our first race was... You know, single, high, high single digits, and the second race was probably just getting to the double digit range. So it was a um, tough old uh, day out there. It was quite fickle at times, and really getting into the breeze was uh, difficult, but uh, I think somehow we survived the day. And Matt, how did it pan out for you guys? I'm not sure where we finished the second race. Uh, first race, we, we really quite well. We got a nice shift on to the right. Um, as Mel said, it was very fickle, and um, I don't think anyone really had any idea of where to go. It was just use the opportunity that you're in and, and hope a little bit for the best. Um, it went our way, and we, I think we finished fourth in the first race. Um, found ourselves pretty deep, actually, in the, the second race, um, and caught, fought our way back, I think, from about 25th, um, maybe even a little bit worse, actually, at one point, probably, <laughs> um, to you know, 11 or 12, which is, um, was fantastic, and it was a really good race for us. Nate, day one of finals racing, not a bad time to start winning races. Yeah, it was good. And we had a, a nice day and uh, two bullets today and two other results in the top seven. So um, it was much lighter than we've had all week. And uh, yeah, we, we started pretty good. We got a bit lucky in the last one. We pulled back from almost last with a nice left-hand shift to get into fifth at the top mark. So, um, you know, it was good for us. And then just talk us through that last race. You were quite a way back. Yeah, we, um, we had a bit of a bad start. We... Um, we got, got Lee bowed by a boat and we had to tack back and then we didn't get a lane so we tacked back again and we will probably last by about 50 metres by the time we got a good lane out to the left and um, we took one dig back into the middle. We were really, really high on port but then we started to dial back down so we thought there might have been something more out there and we went out there again and it paid off. So it was a bit of a fortune favours the brave? Yeah, definitely. We were probably halfway towards Africa by the time we came back. And they, in the 49ers, it's all about being cons consistent and you guys are doing that again? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of races and consistency pays and we're just trying to, you know, get into a good spot and once we're there, we, we dial down the risk and just try and lock in some good results. And today some of the team's got some high scores and we managed to avoid that. Our drop is an eighth still at the moment, so still two days of racing to go and it's always good to have a drop inside the 10 at the moment, so um, we're in good shape going into tomorrow. And the breeze is supposed to pick up again tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it's meant to be quite fresh. We've had the mistral the last few days and today we've got the breeze sort of coming from the, the southeast. So it um, could be some really big waves and sort of like low 20s. So um, we'll see what comes of that. But um, if, it, if we do go racing, it's going to be all on, that's for sure. And Goobs, you're halfway to Africa today. Do you reckon you could sail the 49 to Africa? I don't think so. I'd get too cold. 